2022. You know what also starts with two? Tutorial. So pumped for today's tutorial. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna share with you very easy steps to get started with focus bracketing on your Canon R5. Now the Canon RP has focus bracketing as well as uh, the Canon R5. I'm not sure if the R6 does. I'll put a on screen here if it does or not. Uh, but the Canon EOS R does not have it. So when I move from the R to the R5, I was excited to have focus bracketing at my fingertips. So this is how easy it is. Turn your camera on. You're gonna look at your menu screen. You're gonna be in the photo menu. So I'm gonna click over to there right now. And then you're gonna hit menu. You're gonna hit your drive mode and you're gonna go to tab number five. And it'll say focus bracket. Mine's on disable. You hit disable and you have the menu to enable it. And then you say, okay. Now the settings you have under focus bracketing are these. Number of shots. I have this set to a default of nine. That's kind of where I keep it. The more shots you have, the more detail will be in your image, but also the longer it'll take to process in Photoshop. Um, so I'm gonna click out of there. And then you have focus increment. And focus increment tells the camera how far apart to take those images because focus bracketing basically takes however many shots you say, it'll change where the camera is focused and then take another shot, move it further away from the camera, take another shot and then move it further away from the camera. It'll do that however many times you tell it and however much distance between those shots as you tell it. And it's kind of a vague scale. It says from narrow to wide. I put it on um, hash mark number four. So I put on a setting of four that's where I start with nine shots and four, and I think that's a good setting for product photography. For landscape, it'd be totally different, but that's where I start for product photography. Let's say I wanna take a picture of a camera and get everything sharp from edge to edge. Then I hit okay. Um, I don't use exposure smoothing, um, and so I leave that disabled, and that's it. I'm gonna put some samples up on the screen of images that I've used with this setting. And these are largely gonna be product shots of cameras and I hope you enjoy them. That's how easy it is. Just start. Now there's a process of what happens when you put it in Lightroom. You basically highlight the, um, the images. You have, let's say we have nine shots, have those selected, you highlight them, right click, edit in Photoshop as layers. And then in Photoshop, you choose edit, auto align, then edit, auto blend. There's a couple settings in there, um, but just use the defaults. And then when it's done, you hit control or command save and send it back to Lightroom. And that is your focus stacked image. That's it. That's how easy it is. All right, peace. Let me know what type of tutorials you want. Uh, I'm gonna do more on the Canon R5 uh, and the EOS R. Let me know what you're interested in and I will share those with you. See you soon. Oh, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Ring the bell, leave me a comment, let me know where in the world you're watching from, and give this video a like. Like it. Like it. Just like it. Hey, this year I thought I'd make more tutorials. Tutorials, I love them. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Uh... <laughs>